Hello, my name is Vespianko. This is the second video about the greaser knives from the Blade Show. I'm gonna link the, the first one. That is a limited edition that was sold at the Blade Show. Really good uh, quality and price on Sunday afternoon. So I got a couple of those and I did take two apart as we see in front of the camera not only to see how they look inside but also to a bit later anodize them so what I did not like was the anodization on it that did look a bit strange also the finish of the titanium was basically like a SOTA finish that is pretty slippery in your hand so the next time I did go and be blast I did blast the titanium parts and the screws and the clip so as we see the holes where the screw was in there that is still the original shiny finish and the rest is matte so I gonna splash anodize that once as a test the edges are now more rounded too, it has more of a texture on it, it is not that that uh, completely smooth anymore, that slippery smooth as it was. And this of course on all the titanium parts, the spacer that is also the spring of the, the back lock, the lock back system there is also made in titanium. We see where they did a start and stop with the cutting of the wire cutting machine there so it needs a bit a rework as well especially on that part here where you come with the rocker part that is about here so I gonna fine tune it as well the, the rocker part is a bit on the rough side here here as well so those two parts gonna get a bit polished up as well and of course the this part here the spacer and spring is titanium and that's why it is matte on the outside so we're gonna anodize it splash anodize it there too then the clip and the screws I just grabbed the, the samples here they were really shiny that's the, the main pivot screw and the clip so I wanted to have it matte as well that shiny clips I don't like that much at all it gives a way that you have a knife or whatever tool or item it is if you have such a, a shiny uh, clip in the pocket so I don't like that at all it needs to be either black or matte and this stainless steel clip was a perfect example to rework that. So I'm gonna make a video in a while after the splash anodizing. Of course I do the, the splash anodizing just like I like it in the pattern, in the colors. Uh, that is controversial of course. Some people like this, some people like others. Uh, basically as it is now blasted we could anodize it in single colors or multi colors and there by the multi colors in a variety of pattern so those are not for sale those are just for me for testing a bit and for enjoyment and uh, personalize because that that's obviously going to be each of them one of a kind and uh, they are not for sale they are just for myself so i'm going to do the the colors that I like for myself to uh, enjoy them just to give a sample what would be possible and uh, together with uh, some other titanium uh, items I do that in batches and see then how it goes and uh, then another video gonna follow so that much about the Kieser blade show knife a bit about how that item looks inside how the springs and all that works and maybe in the next video I show how it is partly assembled that we see the, the spring and the rocker together with the blade 
and uh, just one knife completely assembled. We will see that much about the keys and knife.